Hey guys, John here, and uh, what we're going to be covering today is switch statements. Now, switch statements are very similar to our if-else and else-if statements. It's just more neatly organized and more efficient to use. Um, let's take a look at what a switch statement looks like. All right, the syntax for one uh, is this here. I'm just going to go ahead and just remove these stars. All right, the syntax for it is this. So you have a switch, gets the keyword switch, right? It's a C-sharp keyword. And then you're switching through some variable. And what you have here are case values. So you use the keyword case, and then you specify a value that that variable could be. So for instance, for our example from the last one, we were calculating the average, all right? And I'm gonna just leave this uh, here for now. But just, uh, just know that what you're switching through is a variable you're switching through. And then you have a value for what that variable is. And if the variable matches the value, this code gets ran, and then you use the break keyword to let it know that you're done running whatever code you're going to run. And then you have here a default case, which is like your else statement. All right? So for this example here, uh, I'm just going to leave that syntax right there. But for this example, it's going to calculate our average. So if I actually go over here, yeah, it actually doesn't like that. I'm going to delete it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, so if I go ahead and run unit, it's going to calculate our average. All right, so let's go ahead and run it and see what it is. So the average is 16, okay? So between those three variables, the average is 16. Now, what if I wanted to check the average? So for instance, if I wanted to check if it's 16, or if I wanted to check if it's 10 or 20, um, or for instance, actually, what if I was, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go with this example. Uh, what if I wanted to check if the average was 16? So if I would, I would say if, Average, oops, I'm going to go there. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go ahead and say if. I don't know why it's not giving me my tooltip, but if average uh, equals 16, then we're going to say debug.log. Average is 16. All right, and then we'll have here an else if, and let's say I want to check if it's five. Else if average equals 5. So if the average is 5, I'm going to say the same thing here. All right, it's going to be average is 5. And then say I had here an else clause, or even another else if, actually. Let's add another else if. And we'll go ahead and say here that uh, average is 10. So we're checking for 10. So we'll say debug.log then average is 10. All right, and then here we can say else, and we'll have invalid. All right, and once I'm just going to get my tooltip back. The way you do that is you just got to resync model develop. And there we go, got it back. Okay, so this is an if else statement. Okay, so I elf, elf, sorry, it's an if else if statement. Now, this looks very, very messy. We have four if else statements here very messy. Now all I'm doing is I'm just checking the average and whichever one of these conditions is true it's going to debug that log that's the average. Now a more efficient way to do this is through a switch statement. So for instance if I wanted to I'm going to go ahead and delete all these if statements and I just want to know what the average is. So after calculating the average I'm going to sw use a switch statement and I'm going to say switch and then the variable I want to switch through. What variable am I looking, of that, looking for um, a value for? I'm looking for a value from average. So I'm going to put average in here. Now I need some cases. And a case is just what values are you looking for. So I'm looking for a value of 16. Or here, we'll say I'm looking for a value of 16, and then a colon, and then code goes here. So I'm going to go ahead and say debug.log average is 16. All right, and then to let it know that I'm done with this case, I need to use the break keyword, which stops it from running. Then I can add another case. Say I want to check for 10. All right, and I would say debug.log average is 10. All right, and you've got to break again. All right, now what if the average is none of those? Well, just like in an if else statement, you have an else clause. We have a default case. We can go ahead and say default colon and then debug.log. This is the default case. You could basically put whatever you want there, like invalid, no selection, no, no entry. 
Um, and what we can do now is go ahead and test this out. See if it works. Ah, okay, so check out this error. It says here, control cannot fall through from one case label to another. The reason why you'll get that is because you forgot a break keyword. You'll notice in my default clause, I don't have the break keyword. It doesn't know when to end. So add a break and you're good to go. All right, so if we go ahead and run this, it's going to say average is 16. Now, what if I manually change the average? Let's go ahead and just make this like a 40 here. Actually, I do it in the inspector. So that was 40. And I run it. This is the default case because the value was neither 16 nor 10. So this is switch statements. It's the exact same thing as an else if clause, no difference. Um, if you guys want an exercise, what you can do is go ahead and create a level selector, uh, which is basically, you know, you'd have public int. Uh, you can do it through strings too. You could say public int, um, let's say public int selected level. All right, and then you'd have here public int selected level, and then you'd have three levels. So you would have like public int, um, I'm sorry, you'd have selected level, and then you could have, you know, public int easy, um, public int easy, medium, hard. By the way, you can write variables in a line like that if you're not familiar with it. Just separate them by a comma and have the last one a semicolon. As long as they are the same data type, this is completely legal. So you have selected level, and then you, based on you're looking for easy, medium, or hard. All right, so 0, 1, 2, or, or I'm sorry, you could say easy equals 0 medium equals one and hard is two so what you could do go ahead and try for an exercise create a switch statement that switches through the selected difficulty so in the inspector you would put a zero one or two for selected difficulty and make these private and then go ahead and uh, debug.log a message for this so if you wanted to create an if-else statement for it I would say if Selected diff selected level should be difficulty. So selected level equals zero. Then I would debug dot log. You selected easy. All right, and then you do an else if if it's one, you selected medium, so forth. So go ahead and try and convert that to a switch statement. Uh, feel free to post it down below in the comments, and if you have more, post whatever you converted in the comments. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.